My apologies for being late at uploading this video. I got a small fever in the past couple of days so I couldn't create a video earlier. But I'm alright now so no worries, and also, I've heard about the Olympics and how the sinners you all pander to, somehow got away after mocking Prophet Jesus himself. I was looking forward to their public execution, but it turned out that the people who did that were from LGBT, and she was a Jewish. So they got away with all that. I wonder what if she was a Muslim? The reaction of media towards this incident would have been entirely different. But who cares, it's 2024. You gotta respect these people, and do everything respectfully. The state of society nowadays is rather unfortunate. Anyways, let's start the original video. Alright everyone Maharib is here, and I've heard about a lot of misconceptions regarding the current boycott that is happening against Hoyoverse, especially Genshin Impact. So I thought this video is important to create. Not to start any fuss in the community, just to clear some core concepts, so you can better understand the situation. But before that, let me make this clear. I do not care if you boycott any game, or if you spend money in the game that you like to play. But I want to say one thing about all these Go F2P Queen's posts. <sighs> Ugh. No, it's too cringy. I can't read any more of this. Ugh. You're saying Whoa. something, hmm? I, uh... Go on. Well, uh... But still, I am not going to blame them. In fact, I think what they're doing is a step in the right direction. And don't worry, I will elaborate. So sit tight. Concept number one. If you want to boycott the game, just stop playing the game. Otherwise, you are not boycotting. This concept in theory is very straightforward, but in practicality, it is not as easy to apply. I might get a lot of backlash on this take, but no matter how many problems Genshin Impact have, fundamentally speaking, it is a good and enjoyable game. Also, what other game can you even play if you boycott Genshin? This sorry excuse of a game that you cannot even start playing unless you don't have a NASA PC and 7G internet connection coming directly from Japanese satellites. Or these two games that are also Hoyo titles. One where you watch TVs all the time, and second that you just watch. Plus, do any of these games have Layla in it? No, right? So why bother downloading them in the first place? <laughs> All jokes aside, my point is, even if you cannot stop playing the game, you can still do what other things you can, to raise your voice on a concern, like going completely free to play, or review bombing and stuff like that. Let me give you a small example. If you see that Google and McDonald's are both participants on some bad activity, and you want to boycott them, maybe boycotting Google will be way more difficult for you because of its necessity on our daily lives, but not using McDonald's won't kill you, right? So you can't say if you can't boycott Google, then no need to boycott McDonald's as well. Just saying. It's kinda similar. Most of the players still find the game enjoyable and good. So even though they can criticize an aspect of the game and raise their voice against it in multiple different ways, they can still play the game because of the things that they enjoy in the game. I mean, it's not like anyone play a game anyways, if they're not enjoying it. So it's okay to do what you are capable of, and how much you are capable of. Concept number two. No need to do anything, it's not like anything is going to happen. This is a very flawed concept, but is also very common among the player base, or our society as a whole. I know review bombing won't do anything. These surveys that we do, Hoyo don't even care. Maybe they go straight to trash can. Genshin is already famous for not handling any kind of complaints, not even from Chinese community. It's not like doing anything like that will make any noticeable difference. But it also doesn't mean you don't say anything, or don't act against it. It may not force them to make the changes you desire, but at least it will let them know that we are not happy with what is going on right now. If you review Bomb Genshin, they will just buy the bots and increase their review. But of course then everyone will know these are bots. They even removed this open-ended message from their survey. Their act of silencing is also a way of confirmation that at least they know there are players that are not happy. Just because you know something will not change, doesn't mean you don't act against it. Otherwise, it will just be a surrender. And you know, surrender is never an option. You always speak for what is right. So I don't think anyone who is review bombing or doing anything in their power to raise their voice is doing all that for nothing. Every little effort matters. You don't need to completely ditch the game if you don't want to. But it doesn't mean everything else you are doing is useless or that you should not do anything else at all. And now let's talk about the main topic of the video. The last and biggest misconception I want to clear in the community. Going free to play will not make any difference. Or that going free to play does not affect the game. Their reasoning also does not make any sense to me. To put it simply, according to them, 
The servers of the game are hosted locally on your computer, and the only data that actually goes to Hoyoverse servers is the damage you do on your enemies, and the things that go in your inventory. So this is how Genshin servers operate according to them. But this guy does not realize in the slightest how Genshin Impact servers actually work. So let me show you guys. All right, first off, credit to Makame for making this video comparing how high latency and low latency are way different from one another. With low latency, you basically hit every enemy as expected, right? Every hit is registered at a time that makes sense and there is no problem. This is basically the same with every single online game, right? However, when we get to high ping, red ping, you see that severe delay between the register of the actual attack, but the movement and animations of all NPCs and characters is going as fluid it as ever. There's no problem in that regard. The things you pick up are also delayed, but the animations, the world, everything still works seamlessly. Why is this different compared to other games like MMOs? Because the server is actually hosted locally. The entire world, all the graphics, everything that you see around you isn't even hosted by Hoyoverse. It's actually just hosted by your own computer and the only thing that actually goes to Hoyo vs servers is the calculation of damage and the things that go into your inventory. That's literally it. C A P A Cap Cap C A P Cap This is a total cap, just a result of lack of knowledge in the field. But I don't blame Art Neki here, because this is just what he understands. And he is not the only one who believes that. I've seen a lot of players, and even content creators making this mistake. Also, I've seen Makarmei's video as well, and they just created a video as a comparison between pings. Not an entire explanation on how things actually work. So it's just a series of small misunderstandings combined, and now a lot of players believe it. So now get ready to have a lecture from Professor Maharab himself on how these servers operate, and why they are not hosted locally by your computer. Starting from the very basics. There is a place where everything is created and designed. Let's call it headquarters. Then the data is sent to these main servers. Asia, Europe, America, and whatever this is. These main servers can have sub-servers in different areas just to increase connection strength to make the game as smooth as possible, but that's not important. And then you have your device whose job is to have all the resources of the game so you can play it, and a connection that those servers need in order to let you play it. But what do I mean by that? You see, the moment you log into the game, you are connected to these servers with your account. Your device has all the things you need, but these servers manage what are the things that are unlocked in your specific account. The transfer of registered data is just one of the many things that are managed by these servers. Each time you make a wish, you open a chest, you go from one place to another, everything you do is recorded and managed by these servers. They have tier zero permission of your computer. You cannot delete anything from your game files. That's why there are always verification checks. You even have an option to repair your game if you accidentally do something with the files you are not supposed to do. As I mentioned earlier, your device have everything downloaded, but these servers have all the control over those files. An account that has all C6 characters, and a completely free-to-play account, will both have the same amount of game storage. These servers also have all kinds of antiviruses that don't allow anyone to hack into their official servers. The moment you try to get more Primo gems from suspicious sites, they detect it. The moment you try to alter the files, they detect it. You or your device has nothing to do with what you are playing. Everything is managed by them. They are responsible for your account's protection and everything. If the only thing their servers were registering is damage and inventory, it will mean that you can do anything with the game by manipulating your game files, but you know that's not how it works. You know even if you just close the game in the middle of the fight, next time you'll log in, it will be started from the same spot. Because every step taken from your character is recorded. Every time you claim your daily rewards, it's recorded, every redemption code. They know everything. These servers are the reason your data cannot be transferred to other servers. Because these two servers don't have any connection with each other. And that you can co-op with strangers you don't even know. Bottom line. These servers are managing everything in your game. Your device only have resources for these servers to use. Now let's go to the simple topic of ping. High ping is mainly because of three reasons. Either your internet connection is trash, just like mine, or there is a long distance between you and the server, or there are a lot of active players in the same server for it to manage everything accordingly. And as you can see, compared to low ping, even the gameplay is not as seamless. There can be disconnections as well as severe lags because of these high pings. But the delay in damage is more noticeable because it is a two-way respond connection as opposed to a one-way data recording. Think of it this way. The amount of connection strength required in order to record the gameplay in the server is much less than the amount of connection strength required to register a lot of damage output, and then respond back with the decrease in health, 
elemental reactions, and all that good stuff. Also, if you ever experienced it, if you keep giving them more data to store at the very high ping, even your character goes back to the location where your connection was once stable. So this high latency and low latency is just the effects of connection from your computer to your server. It's nothing more than that. Genshin servers are stable enough that you can play the game seamlessly even with a relatively high ping. This is a plus point on their server side. It doesn't mean your computer is hosting your entire game. Don't believe me? Have a look. Now what is this? This is a private server. It has nothing to do with official servers. And this server allows me to do so much that I can't an official server. For example, And even that, doesn't mean my computer is hosting this locally. It's just that these are hosted by some other people, and they are managing everything. So what is happening here is that we have all the game files, but instead of giving Hoyoverse official servers the access to these files, I have given this access to a server hosted privately by some other people. Hence the name, Private Server. If my computer was hosting everything locally, then I would be the only player in the game. With no co-op feature whatsoever. And when I need to do co-op, I will just need to get the UID of that person and connect his local server from the computer with mine, regardless of whether they are in Europe or in America or in Asia, because then it would not matter. Even if I do co-op here in this private server, I can only target the people who are playing in this specific server, not the people from official server. I hope now you understand how it works. I mean, you can't even start the game if these servers are down. The moment you log in, that's it, you are connected to their server. And surprise, surprise, these servers need money to stay active. A lot of money, actually. The amount of active players in these servers are in millions. So it indeed takes a lot of cash to maintain that kind of server. But one thing I want to mention here is that Hoyoverse have their own game client, meaning they don't need to pay any other company like Ubisoft or Rockstars or Activision etc. for their services. So their servers may cost way less than I am thinking here. Just to let you know, we don't have any official declaration on how much it costs for the whole development of the game and to keep it up and running. My point was just to clear the misunderstanding that these servers are not just reading your damage output. These servers are everything for the game. Without these four servers, all of these game files you downloaded are just a waste. And now, the last topic. Will going free to play affect the game negatively? The answer is obviously yes. Look, if you're not spending money on the game, the game will not generate revenue. The only way Genshin, or any other gacha game for that matter, makes money is when players spend money in the game. And yes, there are always outside investors involved in the development of the game, but they are also doing that to make profit at the end. If no one will spend money in the game, obviously it will be a disaster. But for that to actually be effective, millions of players need to quit spending money. Only 100,000 or 200,000 people won't make any difference. As I already said, these servers cost money, wages of workers, electricity bills, and all the good stuff needs money to keep functioning. But the things you are spending your money on are basically free and don't even cost anything to create. One character skin they create, they earn millions from that. Probably enough to keep everything running for the next six months. Not to talk about players spending money for characters' constellations, or weapons, or even for resin. The thing is, the margin between the cost required for creation and management of the game, and the profit coming back from player base, is exponential. That's why even if some people go completely free to play, it doesn't affect the game. For this strategy to actually be effective, a lot of players who spend money in the game needs to stop doing that. Which is obviously not possible. I understand free-to-play players are also important for the game to stay active and keep the retention data going. But ultimately, the only way of profit is still spending money in the game. And if a whale, or a dolphin, or a low spender, or anyone, decides not to spend money in the game ever again, this is a loss for a company. That's just common sense. Telling them this is useless, or that they are doing this for nothing, or things like that, is just dumb. So even if you play the game, going completely free to play is still the best option. Anyone who says otherwise needs to shut up. Also, I should be the only one getting praised, because I don't spend money in the game. If you want to get praised just like me, 
Stop spending money. Well, well, if it isn't our old friend Bluestone the Brave. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server and he will see you in the comment section. Peace.